That's card number one, our defending champion at the lock and loaded Alpine Rally of East Gippsland. Nathan Quinn heading off to the opening stage. We have three stages in front of us this afternoon. 38 competitive kilometers in total. The interesting one could be the middle stage. Stage number two, 15 cases, brand new to all of our crews. What a way to start the 101st anniversary running of the Alpine Rally of East Gippsland. Right, it's good to see the rally underway at long last. We've waited long enough. Just tell me about the roads out there. How are they for you? Ah, uh, look, uh, they're fantastic. As long as they're dry, I'm happy. I haven't had a dry rally here yet, so uh, yeah, I I'm stoked. But uh, pretty technical, a bit steady in the first stage, but uh, yeah, we're, we're easing into it. Long event. It's a difficult approach, though, isn't it? Because we've got this kind of time trial, if you like, to decide. You, you want to take it easy, but you want to put a bit of performance in as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's been a while since I've competed against uh, Brendo and Quinny, you know, and that we we all competed against each other back in ARC days. So. There's a bit of ego there. <laughs> a bit of ego with rally drivers, never. Uh, first corner, there's a big 90 right about a kilometre and a half into the first stage. How did you cope with that? Oh, nailed it, mate. Nailed it. <laughs> You've got the video evidence. Have you? Oh, well, yeah, I'll tell a lie. <laughs> Adrian, we've just had a wee look at your times and it looks as if you're having a good start to the rally. Yeah, yeah, no, it's going really well. It, um, look, I didn't think that these stages would suit this car, but they, they definitely do, I think. Tell me about the car. It's, it's an interesting looking wee car. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, so um, look, it started as a, a COVID project, actually. Um, so uh, it was mainly I just wanted to build something that we could drive all the time. So use uh, pretty common parts, um, make it um, serviceable, and so we can just go out and just do kilometres and kilometres at every rally we can, basically. There's a few good things came out of COVID. Not many, but a few good things, and this is one of them. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, very few things, but this is definitely one. Nathan, we've had a look at the times. They're all looking quite good. Tell me about the opening three stages. What were the conditions like? Mate, that was crazy. Like, that, the, the grip out there, I want it to rain again, far out. <laughs> it was uh, really tough, you know, the just the lack of grip, lack of feel in the front. Um, yeah, that was, a, that was a bit of an eye-opener, that first stage. We made a few mistakes, but... Uh, yeah, it was a great, great road, but super slippery. Nothing too dramatic though, you've kept it all just nice and calm? Yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. After the first kilometre I calmed it back. The very first corner of the rally, 90 right. Apparently you're about the only one that actually got it right. Yeah, well if you went about 200 metres down the road, I didn't get that one right. <laughs> Three stages down. Kate, how are you doing? How's it gone? Yeah, really good. The first one wasn't as good. Really loose surface, very crowned. Trying to read the road, hadn't done much testing, and there was a 40 metres and then um, straight on hairpin right. I just went straight past the hairpin right and then turned around dust, had to reverse again. So lost a fair bit there. Second one we lost a bit, but it was fast and flowing. And then that stage started to get more of a rhythm, but as soon as you start to think you're reading the roads well, something catches you out. So long rally, we just keep building and building and use today a bit like a test. New rear brakes have worked really well. We didn't know how they were going to go. So enjoying it now, I can sort of sit back, relax, sort of think, okay, what are we going to do tomorrow now? Look, it's nice and dusty in there. Um, three stages down, 38 Ks. How have they gone for you? Yeah, not too bad. We um, slipped off the road on one. Um, misread a uh, crest into a tight corner and slipped off the road, so we had a stall and had to back out of there. So we dropped a fair bit of time in there. So. Car okay though, you didn't do any damage to the car? Anything, just uh, bruised my ego more than anything. It's the great thing about this rally though, isn't it? There's so much more to come. A little mistake early on's not a disaster. As long as it doesn't knock us too far down for tomorrow, but um, we probably dropped 10 seconds, 15 seconds trying to get out of there, so I don't know. We'll see where we are tonight and, and just play it from there. Listen, we were expecting Jack in before you, Jack Monkhouse. Do you know what's happened to him? On two, about halfway through, he's off the road, not crashed. He's got a mechanical issue. He's been uh, fighting vibration issues in that car, and I'd say something's let him down there. Yeah. You're looking very relaxed, very calm, but we're hearing that those first three stages were a little bit testing in places. Very slippery. Um, 
It was uh, just modulating the throttle everywhere, wheel spin, but it was great stages. Can't wait for tomorrow. Only 38 k so see what happens. Carl, listen, you had a great run here, what, three years ago now. How's this one started? Uh, it's a little bit loose. Um, probably not in the form that I should have been, but uh, yeah, it's still feeling okay about everything so far. So it takes a wee while to get into it, and it's the great thing about this event. You've got plenty of keys to find the pace. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm definitely someone that'll build up over the time I, as I get the confidence, so I'm, I'm not too fussed. We'll drop down the field, but it's all good. And the car's good, the car's feeling good underneath you. Yeah, yeah, it's just the... Uh, this guy here. <laughs> Take it easy, mate. No worries, nice. thank you. Yeah. Claude, good afternoon. There you go. Yeah, good, mate. And you had the three stages. They, they looked quite interesting. Yeah, we uh, made a couple of mistakes on the first one and overshot and had a spin. And then um, thought, you know what? It's a long event. Settle it down and try and buy a ticket to Sunday. Where was that in the first one? Was that the first 90 right? The very first hard turn right. And we went Robinson Crusoe. There was three or four marks in there too, so. Yeah. Clear, I couldn't decide whether it was delivery or whether it was mud, but that's mud on the front of your car. It shouldn't be there. What's happened? Uh, well, well, that was just a puddle on an inside of a corner. That was all right, but the, the very first call of the rally I got wrong, went flying past the corner, chucked a Yui, went flying past it again, couldn't see. <laughs> So that was a horrible, and then I whacked the bank with the back um, right-hand wheel there. I think I think the diff might be bent, but it was all right. But yeah, I whacked the bank pretty hard back there. But um, anyway, we're still here, it's still going. It's going really strong, so we'll be right. We're hearing it's a bit slippery and a wee bit of testing out there. Yeah, yeah, a little bit slippery. Um, yeah, it's felt good. The cars felt good. We felt good. Um, yeah, just ease into it, I suppose, and we've made it this far. So keep going from here. A lot of drivers seem to struggle with that first 90 right on the opening stage, about a kilometre in. If it's not ringing bells for you, then I'm sure you got through it okay. Yeah, I honestly don't remember, but <laughs> so it must have, or I was going too slow, one or the other. How is the car going though? The car's dealing okay? It's really good, yeah, the car feels really good. Yeah, good grip, doing everything I wanted to do, so, yeah, excellent. Ryan, I'd kind of like to think it was a gentle opening to the rally, but from what I'm hearing, it's been quite testing in those opening three stages. Oh, you had your witch about you in there, that's for sure. Um, it's totally different from any rally I've ever done, but great just to get three in the bank and know what I'm going to be up against for the next three days and uh, just set where we are and, and it could hopefully a good road position tomorrow and no silly mistakes. How difficult is it with it, the changing grip out there? I hear there are different road surfaces. It's, it's about what you're seeing and, and I suppose just judging that grip level. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's a sand in there that you've got to have your wits about you and then you pull onto a nice open road and you want to lean on the tyre, but you're not quite sure because there's a lot of marbly there. So, um, yeah, we just take it easy and uh, we'll, we'll have the feel for it over the next uh, three days. A dusty opening three stages, Tony. How did it go for you? Um, a bit sketchy. I still don't a, know where it is. Just looking for a left turn. Left turn. I still don't know where the There it is, up there. Okay. 400 road goes right. Yeah, really narrow stages and I haven't driven a rear wheel drive car for a hell of a long time, so... I'm coming slowly, but uh, yeah, it'll be. It'll be it, it, I, had, I had a ball, just um, a bit sketchy. You've got plenty of kilometres to get used to it this weekend, haven't you? Most definitely. It's a bloody long event, so we'll go all right. Darky, uh, the little car seemed to have coped okay in these conditions. What about this big beastie? How does she get on? It's going okay, okay, Cole. It's um, yeah, it's a bit of a handful, but as long as the spectators like the noise and we can keep pushing along. We'll see who falls off the road. I think we could hear you from about at least a kilometre back. It makes it the most glorious sound, doesn't it? I hope so, yeah. I can't hear a bloody thing in here, but um, no, it's, it's a bit of fun. Joy to watch. Hard, hard on tyres, but good fun. Well, have a look at this. It's Tom and Ryan in car number 19. They've made it through stage three, the opening three stages of the rally, without any issues. But at the time control at the end of three, the car wouldn't start. Now, in a normal A to A rally, you guys would be in trouble. But this rally is different. It's A to B. Now, it took me a little while to get my head around this. Ryan, explain to me what the issue is and why you're not too stressed and too concerned. So, obviously, you get a separate time for stage and then liaison. So, pretty much each control, your time resets. On top of that, 30 minutes before we start getting penalised. So hopefully, hopefully you guys can get back. But even if you don't get back within that 30 minutes, fingers crossed, that they won't penalise you too much. Yeah, exactly. Like, see how nice they are. It's day one. You really don't want to push anyone back. So we'll keep going. See, see if we can get a 
down and make it to the end. Well, fingers crossed. That is A to A, A to B. It confuses me, but I think Ryan here has helped us a little bit. I'll tell you what I'm worried about. I'm worried about the mosquitoes. You are absolutely covered in mosquitoes. Do you need a little bit of scoosh? I've got some scoosh if you need some. Yeah, I'll grab some, thanks. Yeah, we'll, get, well I want it back. Uh, I'll, I'll lend you some. I don't know. <laughs> and there we are. Uh, good lads. Let's hope they're not here for too long. I'm off to get the mozzie. Spray, not cream, spray. <laughs>